Uh, this video is going to be a quick reminder on how to rewrite uh, using rational exponents. So when I say rational exponents, I mean exponents that are fractions. All right. So to rewrite using rational exponents, uh, the first thing we're going to say is to recall that if I have some value a, and I'm taking the nth root of it, right? we call that the index of the root, and I'm raising it to the m power. All right, so we got a is the base, m is the power, n is the root, we call it the index of the root. The way you can write this, or rewrite this, is you keep the base a, the power of m goes in the numerator in the exponent, and the exponent is a fraction now with the denominator being the index of the root. So the power is on top, right? The power is in the numerator. The denominator is going to be the index of the root, right? So the root is on the bottom. You can think of the root being on the bottom like you would think out of uh, the root of a tree you see outside, right? The roots are always on the bottom. So when you look at this, the power is in the top, the roots are on the bottom. The power is in the numerator, the roots in the denominator, and the base stays A. You might also see the same thing written as the nth root of a all to the m power, but still, the base is a, right? It's raised to the power of m, the root is on the denominator, which is n, right? These are the same thing, right? So they're all equivalent. So if I asked you to rewrite each uh, using rational exponents, really it's just a way of identifying that. This is going to be very important as you go through uh, calculus though because a lot of what we do is rewriting. So for the first one, if I said the cubed root of y to the fifth power, you should ask yourself first, what's the base? Well, the base is y. And then what's the power? Well, the power will be to the fifth power over what's the root? The root is the third root, so it's 5 over 3, right? You take the power, goes on top, the root goes on the denominator, so it's y to the 5 thirds, and that's it. All right, I wrote it as a rational exponent. Remember, rational means as a fraction, so a fractional exponent. Uh, if I wrote, let's say, the fifth root, of x squared. Well, you ask yourself, what's the base? The base is x. What's the power on it? Well, it's to the second power over what's the root? The root is 5, is the index of the root. So we got x to the 2 fifths. Um, next one we'll look at, let's say I said the square root of x to the 12th. So first thing you're looking at here, what's the base? Well, the base is x. What's the power? Well, the power is 12. What's the index of the root? This is the part that people sometimes make a mistake on. If you see a square root, the index here is really an imaginary 2. You just don't know what's there. Uh, it's not 1, right? So it's the square root is an index of 2. So it's really 12 over 2 is the power. Now, if that reduces, you should reduce it, right? So x to the 12 over 2 is really x to the 6th power. And then you've got it. Um, you could also be asked to write the opposite way, right? So it could say, rewrite each as a radical. And if I gave you something like y to the 4 7 power, typically I'll say, what's the root? So the root in this case is the seventh root because it's coming from the denominator. So it's the seventh root of what's the base, y, and what's the power on it, four. So the seventh root of y to the fourth. Or you can put that power on the outside, right? You could write it as the seventh root of y, and then that whole thing raised to the fourth. Those are equivalent. Uh, more often than not, you'll see it the first way, but uh, they do mean the same thing. They're both okay. Uh, if I had this one, if I said c to the 
9 halves power. Well, what's the root? Well, the root's in the bottom of the exponent, so it's the square root. So the index of the root is 2. You don't typically write it, so it's just the square root of c to what's the exponent? Well, to the ninth power. So square root of c to the ninth power, or you could write it as the square root still. The root index is 2, so square root of c, and then that whole thing to the ninth power. Um, being able to rewrite back and forth between these two forms is really important. More typically, you'll see this first form here when we rewrite as a radical. Um, a lot of times you'll be given problems in the radical form, though, and have to rewrite it as, um, as, an, exponent, or as an exponent. And the main reason that is is because a lot of our rules in calculus involve uh, using things with the exponents. Uh, I won't go too far into it now because we'll cover it as we get into further chapters. So just wanted to make sure you saw this. This is really important. It's a very short, quick lesson, but it's something that uh, you'll use the rest of the way through the course.